Hi, flute players, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to just talk about my thoughts on a question that was put on a flute forum on Facebook, I believe, asking a really good question, which is when you graduate from music school as a flute performance major, how hard is it to get an orchestra job? And I'm gonna assume for the purposes of this video that she was referring to a full-time orchestra job. And my short answer to that is, it's very, very hard and nearly impossible. So this is a really great question and I wish more people would ask it, myself included, back in the day. And I also wish more people that know would answer more honestly. Still, um, getting a music performance degree, besides learning mastery of your instrument, which um, that's your training, which is really important. Besides that, what the focus is, is still um, orchestra. So um, you're doing orchestral excerpts. You're even, I guess now, there's like mock audition class and how to take on an audition class and taking auditions is like an entirely separate skill. Um, anyway, everything's still gear geared towards getting that orchestra job, that full-time orchestra job. But the reality is that's very unlikely for most people. This topic is simply avoided in music school. The reason I say it's very, very unlikely is if you just think about the math. I mean, there are, um, of all the universities and conservatories, you know, you have Juilliard, Manhattan School of Music, Eastman, whatever. And then all the universities, all the state schools that have music departments, uh, programs where you can earn a performance degree or a performance certificate. There's thousands of those schools in the, just in United States. And then all of those schools are churning out flute performance majors. Where are they going to go? The, the only, I would say there are openings in orchestra for full-time orchestra. Again, that's what I'm specifically talking about full-time orchestra jobs, I would say there's one or two openings, maybe a month, and that's pretty, being pretty generous. If you look at the International Musician publication, which is a union paper that will list all the job openings in orchestras and also around the world, international, also um, are included regional orchestra jobs and I believe military jobs, uh, band jobs as well. So given all of that, that huge range, there's usually one opening for flute a month. And sometimes several months go by with zero openings for flute. I mean, there's always openings for section violin or viola especially or trombone, but flute, no, you're not getting very many. So you have thousands of flute performance majors floating around in the world for one job. So the math is, it's very unlikely that you, even though you might be the most fantastic flute player in the world um, and are all prepared, all this stuff, to get that job, you're, um, if you do get that job, you're very, very lucky. I mean, somebody wins it, you know, it could happen, it could happen, but it's just unlikely. And this is not even to mention that to do an orchestra job, which will be a topic for, um, or not an orchestra job, an orchestra audition. Um, and this could be a topic for future video. You have to fly yourself out all over the place at your own expense, put yourself up in a hotel and for, you know, two, three days in a row. And then even longer, if you want to try to plan to make the finals. Anyway, it's just, um, I don't know how people just, uh, take auditions as kind of like a hobby. And I'm not saying all of this just to be pessimistic, um, but rather because the realities of available orchestra jobs is never talked about. So I think there is a false hope given to music students. And I know I keep saying it's unlikely to get that full-time orchestra job, but it's not unlikely to have a career in music. Um, but those, those things like just having a broader career in music is really not a focus at most uh, music programs um, where it's performance oriented. Um, so you can, I mean, most people end up freelancing, which is what my whole channel is about. That's what I've been doing my whole career. As you're going through music school, possibly assume and accept that that full-time orchestra job could never happen. And when you tell yourself that, are you okay with it? Um, if you cannot have a full-time orchestra job, do you want to do music? Do you want to be a freelancer? Do you want to be um, directing a flute choir and teaching um, a full flute studio and being a musician at the local church, you know, piecing together 
um, a career that way? Is that going to be okay with you? And if, if so, then you'll you'll find a place to have a career in music. And it's kind of funny. I don't know if funny is the right word, but what prompted me to do this video in the first place when I saw that question on the forum, if you graduate with a music degree in performance, how hard is it to get into an orchestra job? The responses were anything you set your mind to, you can do. And we, you know, go for it and follow your passion, you know, and these are, these are very sweet things to say and, and very supportive, but unrealistic in my opinion. You know, follow your passion, sure. But maybe talk to the 99% of musicians with music degrees that never got the full-time orchestra job and see what they say. You know, don't talk to the 1% that do have the orchestra job. They don't, they, I don't think they have any idea how lucky they are. Like when you talk to that 99%, of people that went through music school, got their performance degree, and never got that full-time orchestra job, do they ask them, do they regret it? Um, what are they doing now with their degree? Um, are they freelance? They're probably freelancing, if anything. And do they like freelancing? What are the pros and cons of that? You know, just kind of picture what your life could be if you do not get that full-time orchestra job. When I reflect back on my undergrad and graduate um, flute friends, when we're all in the, you know, getting our flute performance degree programs, when I think back on those people, I would say exactly zero of them have a full-time orchestra job, unless I'm forgetting about, oh, there was one guy, Gaspar Hoy Hoyos or something like that. Um, who was at North Texas when I went there and he went on to Paris and I believe he plays in, in an opera orchestra or something like that. So there is that one guy. But in my undergraduate degree, um, no one's gotten a full-time job. And in my graduate degree, there were probably about 50 of us flute performance majors. And most of them don't play flute anymore. Um, some do as a hobby, you know, a lot of them teach. Um, and if anything of us that still play, we freelance. So I just wanna put that out there as, as a real reality. Thanks for watching this video. I think it's a really important one to watch if you're going into music school and you're not sure what what is the real realities beyond that. And you could check out some of my other videos I'm done, if, I've done if you're thinking like, oh, I could be a freelancer, I could do that. Um, there's also, of course, pros and cons to that. Uh, you just really need to know what you're getting yourself into. I will link a video that I've done on the pros and cons of freelancing. It's kind of a generalized video, but I think it's very important to have somebody say this stuff. Please hit subscribe and you'll be in the loop for future videos such as this one. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.